someone has their head in the clouds about you when they should be worried about their mental health. I feel like this is someone who is waiting for an opportunity, waiting for a chance, or waiting for something to fix itself. Let's get some money in here. This is someone who has their head in the clouds when it comes to you. This is someone who feels like they're the boss or they are in a space where they want some type of control, but I feel someone is definitely in their head about making a choice for the wrong reasons. This is someone who is still waiting, anticipating, but it's the same old thing, different day. Causing many of you to be uninterested in someone's games or the fact that someone is yet to grow. For many people, this is someone who's just in a bad mood. This is someone who knows they made some choices from a very suspect place or emotional space, but someone made some choices that they know were petty, but they're still not coming out of a place of confusion. I feel this is someone who has caused you to be uninterested in the mess they have made. In fact, many of you have now chosen to move in silence. I feel like many of you are moving in silence because something is still up in the air or yet to be understood, but someone has become a nightmare or just an imposter, really screwing up a mood. As it seems, this energy is coming out as an imposter or someone with a low IQ, someone who is in their, in their head or in the clouds about wanting you back or tripping on you. I feel this is someone who realizes they went too far but they're still acting cold, using time as a barrier or using time to heal a situation. This is someone who was chasing or hungry for clout, someone who was abusing their position, taking something for nothing physically, emotionally, mentally, talking crazy to you because they're not wanting to kiss up to you. This is someone who has a very bruised ego, someone who is sitting in a space where they're still attached to a, a false way of thinking, possibly even holding a grudge. I feel this is someone who is trying to figure out ways to make you the problem or the villain. This is someone who is trying to figure out ways to have a problem with you. This is somewhat of a scare tactic that is starting to be played out. Someone is still confused about some things, and I feel in so many ways they would rather it be that way rather than stand in the truth. So someone is definitely in their head when it comes to you. Confused to why you just won't forgive, because I feel like they have yet to really learn. It's not about their actions, it's about their morals their values, their beliefs. It's about integrity. I feel like this is someone who is all in their head about being confused about a last chance or the lack thereof. Someone ignores something when it comes to you and they blocked you. I feel them blocking you or resisting you, pushing you away, causing any of you to move on. This is very triggering for this energy. Because you moving on and having attention somewhere else is starting to bother them in the worst way. This is someone who didn't see how how much they really cared until you moved on. I feel like this is someone who is truly triggered and in their head about their reputation. But many of you may see them as a hater. And this energy is definitely in a space where they're curious about you. Because there's been a lot of time, a lot of distance. They're wondering what you think, how you feel, and for many of you, your energy is coming out as unbothered or in the space of healing, and they're starting to haunt them. This is starting to haunt them because they're thinking about their reputation, how it's been damaged when it comes to a family issue or a situation, something that is definitely putting them in a space of reflection where someone is going through a lot of harsh feelings and pain. I feel like these tears are tears that they don't understand. They know that they need to make something right, but someone is still holding something, holding something to their heart. 
Hmm. Still not addressing some things that they know they had a hand in. I feel like this is someone who is reflecting on making an offer, but they know the games they played has tarnished their light, being reckless, blocking you, and now you're on a different level, stepping into your power and too busy to deal with their harsh reality or the lack thereof. This energy is coming out of the drama starter, causing pain where there shouldn't be any. Let's get one more card here from this deck. So it seems this energy is definitely at a distance because of their reckless ways. But the fact that they're only worried about what you think and not what they've done is the reason why things are this way. Let's get another deck out here. Confirmation over here. What are the real emotions here? What are we doing? Let's see what are the messages. We have the evil eye here. Someone is definitely sitting in a space where they don't know what to think. This is someone who possibly has mental issues or something about their energy. It has them in a space where they're having mood swings. This is someone who feels rejected, unprotected. This is someone who felt to put you in the position you should have been in. This is someone who also sees you as the yin to their yang, but they're triggered because you feel much better without them. No longer wanting what they offer. And because they don't understand that integrity and loyalty is everything, they're trying to hold your words and your actions against you because they have no true reasons for hurting or destroying what they had with you. For many of you, this is someone who is sitting in a space where they don't have their own. They overindulged in a situation where something was not given in a space where it was unconditional. Something came with conditions when it comes to someone who is always betraying and escaping situations being hot and cold but something is exposed when it comes to someone who is refusing to answer any questions this is someone who is in the energy of you only live once this is how they ended up making some really big mistakes with you leaving you on red because they thought they were too big to fail for many of you this is someone who has an inflated ego Forcing themselves to the choices they make. Someone is now salty, angry, bitter, agitated because they can't have their way strategically. Something has definitely reached its peak. Something has reached its peak within something that is intense. This could also be a love affair where someone is difficult to please. I feel something is soul snatching when something is being pushed to the extreme. Something is extremely too hot to handle when it comes to giving because when this energy is getting what has been put out, they can't handle it. But this energy was naive when it comes to loyalty, respect, finances, and something is now being blocked when it comes to what they once thought was pleasures. I feel this is someone who is in too deep when it comes to investments, dirty money. Something is scaring the crap out of them and they're isolating themselves due to differences. I feel this could be poetic justice for someone who has yet to really see retribution for being under the influence or pretty much showing their ass. This is someone who played a dirty game and they're getting the brunt of it now. Let's get some more energy here. Let's face the mood of this energy. The true mindset. The true mindset is coming out as being hot and cold. Someone is extremely inconsistent. Inconsistent when it comes to their thoughts and energy because they're having an identity crisis. Hmm. There's unsent messages when it comes to this energy, where they're wanting to make some type of offer, but they're still in the energy of avoidance, still not being clear about their motives, someone is still being difficult, disassociating themselves when it comes to sending a message and reaching out, even though curiosity is definitely about to kill the cat. This is someone who really doesn't know who they are, and they're still not trying to figure it out. Their mind is amazed, and they're fixated on you when it comes to their anger even though they know they made something this way by being inconsistent hot and cold causing conflict becoming fire and ice someone is now feeling rejected 
for many of you, you feel like you were scammed by this energy. Too big to fail. This is someone who is definitely driven by their ego. Uh, overdoing things. This is someone who invested in a scam. This could also be someone who is just a liar liar. This is someone who is always going with the flow or easily led. But I also feel they're being scammed by a smooth talker. All because they thought they were investing in the right thing. They left you on red. Someone didn't reach out. Someone didn't text back. Someone left you with questions, no answers. Now something is out in the cold for trying to intimidate you. Something is now a heavy burden, but this energy is numbing the pain, causing something to become heavy baggage due to their lies. Wow, smoke and mirrors. Irresponsible. So, for many of you, this energy became irresponsible because they thought they were too big to fail. They thought this scheme, this plot, this funny business with these lies and smoke and mirrors was going to get them their abundance. They were going to find their way, but someone is realizing they can't burn bridges to find their way through life. This is someone who has become a wrecking ball, careless and unreliable. I feel in so many ways this is someone who knows that they played a dirty game with you. They played themselves by playing with your energy because it wasn't worth it because at the end of the day, it went nowhere. Yet after all the pain and the rain, the disappointment they caused, they also know you're not the same and neither are they. Causing them to deflect from what they know is true. Hmm. This energy is definitely deflecting from what they want with you. This is someone who took the bait, told a lot of lies, created some smoke and mirrors that have now become a burden. And instead of resurrecting or clearing something with you, someone is taking the bait in another situation, being petty, spiteful towards you, <sighs> convincing themselves or trying their best to convince themselves that they don't need you. But whatever they have taken the bait in, they're not safe. They're not safe in a space where they will become hostage. Whether that is hostage to the truth of these lies or hostage to someone else taking advantage of them in a Ponzi scheme or a situation where it's full of betrayal and lies, someone will become burnt out. Burnt out in a thirst trap. Whatever this trap is, whether it involves a karmic energy or a false twin flame, someone will become bitter from fabricating and telling lies. This is storyteller energy of someone who is agitated, clip fake, <laughs> excessive baggage, Ponzi scheme, someone losing themselves in a situation where they were trying to agitate you. I feel this is someone who is living rent free. Hmm. Wow. Someone's living rent free in their head because they tried to finesse a situation and they refused help, advice, treatment, prolonging the pain. Now this energy is triggered because of that you're awoke. You understand something that was not fully understood before. For many of you, you are woke to the fact that this energy was careless and now you could care less because now you're unresponsive and this energy is playing the victim to that. I feel you had to clean house when it comes to a toxic love or a toxic connection where someone became a blood sucking energy. But I feel in the end, they only deprive themselves at their own expense because someone is definitely bitter, salty, cursing themselves for not giving you unconditional love, running, trying to escape from their problems. Someone betrayed you, thinking they only lived once. Someone overindulged, did something too much, and they lost you. Someone is being exposed, being exposed for what they refuse to talk about. I feel whatever they're going through is definitely harsh. For many of you, you feel like this energy hasn't gone through anything. You feel like their life hasn't been touched at all when in fact it has. This is someone who has been affected by a lot of their choices in a very big way because it's become a heavy load to bear on their heart. Because whatever lies they have told has now become the very ties that bind them. I feel something has them hostage within the situation. One more card here. Just one more card. 
So just like I thought, someone is definitely burning themselves out thinking they are too big to fail. They're being singled out in some type of way when it comes to excessive baggage, doing something too much when it comes to fabricating stories. Storytelling energy, someone is being singled out for their prejudiced ways. I feel someone is holding themselves hostage by not cutting ties with something or someone, something that needs to be left behind. This could be ple people, places, or things. Please take it how it resonates. But someone is keeping themselves back, holding themselves bound. Let's get some more energy here. So as I said, you guys, this is someone who is realizing playing with you wasn't, it just wasn't worth the play. Mm. Because not only did it get them nowhere, it got them caught up into something else that just might be over their head. This energy had expectations rather than appreciation, yet they now see your unconditional love should have never been seen as a weakness, but they're still sitting in a space where they're trying to reject what their heart already knows. I feel something has become their weakness as many of you have come to a space where you're trying to heal or accept the distance or the fact that they failed. They failed to change. They failed to evolve within a situation where you did whatever you could. But I feel many of you were pushed to make a choice or set some boundaries because they never did. Now, they're not in a safe space. There's a separation when it comes to a soulmate energy where there was true love. There was true love when it comes to you, but I feel the love you gave made this energy too comfortable. So, they felt like they could get the same love anywhere else, but someone is now realizing life is a cold game. Especially when it comes to love, respect, and loyalty. I feel they said could goodbye created an ending with a twin flame. I feel there is a separation, a divorce, a divide when it comes to a soulmate. A decision has been made. I feel you gave abundantly or authentically when it comes to love or whatever you could give but someone played with that and created some type of divide causing something to end harshly because someone was hiding their emotions or their feelings intimacy is just not the same but I feel within a few months something will be different because someone is going through a dark night of the soul something is changing when it comes to a faded connection or an event where someone real realize how sorry they truly are Someone's going to realize how sorry they truly are. Someone knows without a doubt you didn't deserve the choices or the disappointment that was given. But I feel this pain that they've been trying to avoid isn't going anywhere. There's a lot of pain for what they refuse to believe. Hmm, hiding their feelings is only bringing pain. There's a lot of pain and drama because of denial. Someone is on a journey, a journey to really go deeper when it comes to their ego or realizing everything isn't a chase. This is someone who is in the energy of solitude, hermit energy, where someone is needing to make a choice to let something go, but they're not. This is someone who is not letting something go when it comes to cycles. They're silent. They're not talking. They're not expressing any type of truth. Even though they know they miss you. And they're less than half of who they should be without you. Yet I feel this is someone who is still unawakened to a truth. And at a distance. Still needing to move a free will in a positive way. This energy has yet to do so. Because they're still unawakened to a spiritual truth. So they have stayed stuck bound. Leaving something one-sided when it comes to love, passion, and self-worth. This energy has become a false twin flame. All because they won't put in the work. You can barely recognize their soul. Or even their energy. For many of you, you feel like this energy has become someone you used to know. Someone you don't truly recognize spiritually, mentally. You just don't understand their choices. This energy has become a toxic connection. A union that you need to start over from. 
Like, oh, this is someone who wants to send a message and many of you feel like this something is long overdue or too late because something has definitely become a karmic relationship or a connection or they're involved in one. You're just not wanting to be put in the mess because something is clearly not a misunderstanding. They're clearly invested in the lies. Someone definitely clowns themselves by playing with your energy or the connection. I feel many of you warn this energy. You told them the truth and you thought they understood. They played this game of pretending to understand or be worth your time. But this energy showed you sides of themselves that you now understand. If not fully, you understand in a way that puts you at a distance or in a space to just heal and walk away you can really feel that's for good you will no longer allow this to bound and tie you as it seems many of you are done not mad just done as it seems this energy caused conflict with you like when you only wanted peace it's being unpredictable and taking your warnings for granted believing things would always be the same Believing your love was so unconditional that you would never turn your back. Hmm. You feel something changed. As I said before, a lot of the things that this energy has done not only changed them, it changed you too. It changed the way you approach situations. It, it changed how you invested. It changed how you respected their energy as well as the choices and without the respect there's no foundation and without foundation there's barely if any love this is someone who just became too much of a burden hmm. a liability a liability when it comes to what you have built and your mental space. Sun is definitely moving around, bouncing around from energy to energy. This energy is coming out as having little to give, not looking close enough to realize what they were investing in. They're investing in someone who is also going through a dark night of the soul. Someone is definitely struggling or possibly even going through struggle love because what they have with someone else is just not true love. It's not something true. It's just a false energy who is put in position to help them bring in to fruition these karmic ways. I feel this is someone who has a very distorted mindset. They know that you are the missing piece. Someone is trying to put the pieces back together, but due to their distorted mindset or this struggle love or their struggle, they can't finesse their way out of something. There's no glow up. This is someone who still has yet to realize they need to admit something, but someone has become a professional ghoster because you have turned your back. Someone wants you to react, but I feel you're tired and whatever you did, it was simply on target. I feel you was on target when it comes to someone who was always up for the mind games. I feel this is someone who was always playing mind games and trying to finesse something by trickery. But I feel them walking away or ghosting you as they always do. This energy has put you in a space of losing interest because... You're no longer gullible. Someone knows that you speak a truth within a situation. Because you speak this truth, they know they just can't bring these lies to you. And be two-faced. Now, someone knows they can't be two-faced with you. You don't believe the lies. They're so insecure of you not being interested in something. They're in crisis, wanting to break free of something. Wanting to break free of their misery. This is someone who is miserable. And as I say in so many of my readings, misery loves a little company because it's someone who is miserable and stressed. This energy is stressed out, jealous, unemployed, or struggling financially because they invested in the wrong things and whatever they built with you, they lost. They lost it somewhere else. This energy is invested in a false environment or a bad relationship where they're starting to realize the truth when it comes to a thin line between love and hate. This is someone who created this misery. 
it's just hard to accept that they can't break free from a false energy who is destroying their character assassinating their truth and betraying them I feel this is someone who is just too stubborn and now someone is definitely gaslighting them or lighting matches in their life that cause everything to go up in flames. I feel this is someone who is holding a grudge with you or is not seeing a truth with you on purpose because it's too painful to know that they put themselves in the misery they are now dealing with. Someone is too insecure to admit the truth that you turning your back on them was very necessary. For many of you, this is someone who feels like they've lost so much, they've become a loser. As they're stuck in their ways, believing in commitment and honesty is just too hard. So they sit in a space where they kind of don't want you to know that love equals pain for them. And they, they're just not ready. They always expect to fail or leave, jump ship. They're just not ready for what you expect from them. So they do what they want. They do what they can to put people to ease. Never truly putting in the work or investing because they already know how things would end. So they prepare themselves. They prepare themselves to fail. As well as leave. This is someone who believes that nothing is forever. But somehow, some way, something in their soul and their spirit is letting them know they should have never let you get away. One more card here. This is someone who should have never let you get away, yet they never expected or exposed their truth. I feel like this is someone who just never expected to be in conflict with their soul and their spirit when it comes to you. This is someone who lost train of thought when it comes to a groupie or a group of people they thought were on top of things or next level in some type of way, but something was false, fake, phony. This is someone who is stuck, stuck in a false reality and has a hard time seeing the truth, being vulnerable. Mm. They're dealing with a lot of trauma. I feel like this is someone who is used to an unhealthy love dynamic. They also help to create this dynamic as well. Mm. But it also keeps them stuck in this loop of being false and counterfeit as they only reflect on the past just to use it against other people, not truly growing from their mistakes, but just projecting their issues. I feel this is someone who is used to getting their way or used to losing, so they create scenarios where no one wins. Hmm. This is someone who may apologize or pretend to be sorry yet do things over and over again. Even if the love that they receive feels electric, this energy stays in a dream state when it comes to what is in store. This is someone who is not gentle when it comes to love because they don't believe in it. And this is how something goes from love to hate real quick. This is someone who creates these dynamics only because they don't believe in love or they don't want to feel the unfamiliar feelings of it. It's just unfamiliar territory, but to be with you, there should be honesty, loyalty, truth, respect, and most importantly, love. And without it, there's not a stable foundation. Hmm. Keeping something to mystery. Something that is sacred, uplifting, someone be wanted to be free. Hmm. Someone feels like you're holding them to accountability out of revenge. But I feel you had to protect yourself because you know you, you are used to doing things with your whole heart. You're not wanting this energy to take advantage of that. Someone who has left something to the imagination or mystery. Someone feels they can't accept something. Something is just too hard to accept. Because they know they want to come back around, return for more. Someone wants to circle back to you. But they don't know how to deal. 
with what was left unsaid or left undone. Dealing with unfamiliar feelings, experiencing foreign emotions. This energy has a fear of commitment. Even if they know nothing compares, this energy is detached, still living in ego, being careless and risky, flaky when it comes to love. Wow. This is someone who is just used to running, disappearing, avoiding a confrontation or accountability, but now they're drowning in pain, empty when it comes to, to the emotion of dealing with what shame comes with their consequences. Someone's coping, hmm. yet still dealing with a guilty conscience. Bad blood between the two of you. I feel someone's going through an awakening when it comes to the road to home. This is someone who is being softened, softened by the universe by some really distracting and destructing blows. But I feel these tower moments, these spaces where things are falling apart, will cause this energy to evolve. I feel for now, someone is still falling deeper into debt, still falling deeper into temptation, mistakes, and sin because they have yet to master themselves. Someone is missing you in silence. And for many of you, there is something here getting in the way, something that is reaching a closure. And someone is wanting to go solo. As I said before, someone is wanting to contemplate alone, but they are needing to get away from something. Something or someone that is keeping them low vibrational, but whatever this is, is reaching a close. There's a lot of dense baggage here that's keeping this energy from moving forward or doing better to be better. But I feel that someone will be blinded by a true light. Something will be exposed. For many of you, this energy knows that you are ride or die, and that's what's running over and over in, in, in their head. They never really truly met anyone like you. Someone who was honest with their energy. Hmm. They could be comparing you to other people, but this energy is still making excuses, believing that what they did wasn't a big deal when it really was. They're just making excuses in every way, trying to find excuses to make you the problem or make you feel emotional or leaving them behind. But I feel many of you had to do what you had to do, especially when it comes to someone who is now ghost to you. This is someone who didn't put in the effort even when they know they were losing you. And now someone is really lit, feeling like a loser. Especially now that they know they're lost. Well, someone's energy is definitely tied in knots. Someone knows they made promises to you. And this is another reason why it won't be easy just to come back or come back into your space and this is why they're dealing with uncomfortable karma or bad blood and missing you in silence i feel this is someone who's wanting to circle back to you but they're still falling victim to temptation or victim mindset where their mistakes is not their reality they're still careless and still trying to reject some unfamiliar situations or feelings that are supposed to help them grow understand their position and lead the way instead of follow I feel this is someone who ghosted you because they were not yet ready to level up to you, level up to your energy and become equally yoked. I feel you gave them a chance and they blew it. And now these chances won't be given as easily as it was gave. Final deck out here, you guys. Of course, if you guys are enjoying the reading, please let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. For many of you, this is someone who wants to circle back with the fact that they're struggling financially or feeling like a loser or just trying to cope with what they're dealing with. They're struggling with some unfamiliar situations and things that keep them in a very heavy mindset. This keeps this energy lashing out at others and for many of you, rejection is your protection because they'll just lash out at you. I feel for many of you, you would love to hear from this energy, especially if they were healed, but at this moment, that is not their energy. And that is why they are lost when it comes to the road to home. For many of you, this is someone who made a lot of mistakes and they repeat these things because they would rather be dumb to the truth rather than stand in it, standing in the truth. Mm -hmm. This is someone who has a lot of secrets. 
For me to use someone who failed to protect something very valuable when it comes to the energy between the two of you. This is someone who didn't protect the love. And this is why many of you just didn't feel the respect. This is someone who just got too comfortable with the true love that was given and giving into temptation and saying someone failed in a big way when it comes to the universe that may have been testing them. Testing them when it comes to the blessings that they receive by being tied to you. Mm -hmm. Now they could be going through small challenges because they don't have the blessing of having your attention or access to you in this lifetime. There's commitment issues because someone is repeating cycles. For many of you, you have lost faith in someone who has no hope, no faith. Pretending to be a magician within a situation. Now they're going through small challenges where there are differences in friendship. Mm. So for many of you, these differences in small challenges is jealousy, competitions, there's theft within a friendship or jealousy within a karmic relationship. This is a snake energy here where unexpected events will cause someone to realize something with this third party or false environment is not right. Something is off, but this energy is sitting in a space of being so comfortable that they feel like they need to stay out of convenience. But staying out of convenience keeps them blocked from you, abundance, blessings. There's no breakthrough breakthrough when it comes to a so-called connection or love. I feel there's highs and lows where someone is repeating cycles when it comes to a cheating heart, a runner chaser dynamic. Someone is hiding their feelings, trying to control their heart or trying to control you. Someone is trapped in their own shame if they continue to play Spain. I feel the point person they should be Pointing the finger at is them. This is why someone is stuck in limbo because they would rather play dumb to a situation rather than change. Now someone is stuck with a false twin flame or become a false twin flame rather than a soulmate because someone has lost their identity by running and not making a choice or coming to the crossroads. This energy over romanticize their controlling issues or addictions, but I feel something has become intense when it comes to a twin flame energy who knows where they should be, but has become so attached to where they are. Whether this third party or environment is causing them regret or grief, someone is still attached. Someone still feels like they deserve what they're getting, but they also feel like they don't deserve it at all. However, as I said before, they created this mess. They just don't like the consequences of it. Final energy here, Holy Spirit. I feel like this is someone who changed on you in a very big way, causing many of you to recalculate how you invest or how you understand or try to understand their energy. Uh, many of you made an offer here. You made an offer to make yourself more available. I feel you made an offer from your heart. Hmm. I feel like you knew there would be challenges, but I feel you made every effort to try to get through something. But someone felt like something would always be available, so they took a chance by betraying the trust here. Someone gave you false hope wearing a mask. Now something may never be the same. As I said before in the reading, you guys, a lot of their mistakes changed you. Hmm. Changed you along the way. These small challenges became big issues in the end. Final messages here. I feel like everything was fine. Things were activating. There was purpose within this situation. But the fact that this energy was trying to control a situation or control your heart, they created some damage that cannot be undone. Hmm. I feel like this is someone who had a need for attention. They created a lot of damage here. But I feel also as their needs changed, so did they. I feel like their attention and loyalty changed as their needs changed. And this energy took things for a loop. 
I feel like this is someone who wants change, but they're just wanting to adapt. This is someone who doesn't want to redirect, resurrect anything from the past. They're just wanting you to deal with it, overcome something. As I said before, they're confused to why you just haven't forgiven them and taken them back. But it's about loyalty, understanding there is morals and values within this situation. There, It's about integrity, and they just don't have it. I feel like if you had trouble trusting this energy in the past, that will be a factor now, yet I sense in due time they will soon learn. This was your loss. Someone's about to learn whose loss this really is when it comes to an attachment to a close situation or a marriage. Something will reach a climax where someone was playing the waiting game with you just to have their way because something has become a lost cause, a lost case. Someone is watching you, possibly even gossiping about you, talking about you because there is no access to you. And I feel someone is still rejecting their wounds. And as long as someone is rejecting their wounds, their issues, their trauma, they will remain unawakened. This energy will, will remain unawakened, justifying their behaviors and their issues because they're not ready to compromise. Not ready to compromise when it comes to love, loyalty, and respect. Many of you already know this is just not a safe space when it comes to love and affection. And even if you have to love them from a distance, you're choosing not to be in a space where things are out of, are out of sync when it comes to your mental state, your foundation, your peace, your serenity. It means more to you than their unawakened heart. I feel this is a situation where things are out of sync because this energy has yet to be awakened to lessons. But I feel through their fears, their tears, something will find its way. I feel many of you are going to cause this energy to reflect on something or go deeper when it comes to integrity, values, and respect. I feel this separation or this breakup was just not part of the plan. Someone just never thought that things would go this far. But I feel someone pushed you to it because someone just couldn't pass the test. They blew it. Someone didn't pass the test when it comes to the possibilities of a resolution, closure within a situation. But I feel when it comes to unplan unplanned events, when it comes to a lost love, this energy had one goal, but failed when it comes to two ways of doing it. Hmm. But regardless of the fact, something will not be easy. Something will not be easy when it comes to detours, hidden blessings. Because when there is no respect, there is no forgiveness. Hmm. Which is sad because if this energy was to put their pride aside and ask the universe for help, they could reveal the warrior or the true soulmate within yeah, this must come from someone who is doing it of free will and is ready to surrender and unfortunately they may never see the purpose of a journey hmm. because if they don't tap into what they feel you'll never get the energy you deserve from them